Good morning and welcome back to another episode of 10 AM Tea with Natalie. I hope that your day is off to a wonderful start. I almost uh, started this video with some crazy ass filter thing going on. <laughs> Took a second. I so Maybe that'll be a, um, what do they call those? Where you like, um, like a, a gag reel. That would have been a gag reel quick. <laughs> okay, so today I'm checking in to talk to you guys about how to optimize your workout. Since you're trying really hard and you're, you know, making all this time and you're putting in the effort, you might as well get the most out of, you know, the time that you're putting in. So how do you optimize your workout routine? Well, number one, no distractions. You have to put your device down. You cannot be responding to texts and emailing and all this crap and keep your heart rate up at the same time. So you have to really commit to being in the moment while you're exercising. It's going to help you get the most out of what you're doing. Um, watch your form too. Make sure that you're doing your exercises correctly. Um, the reason why form is so important is so that you get the maximum benefit without causing injury. So make sure, you know, shoulders over your hips, hips over your knees, knees over your ankles, that you're lined up well, you know, when you are uh, doing your raises and different things in your squats, you have to make sure that, you know, you're, you're staying aligned over your own body so that you don't overextend or hyperextend yourself and, um, cause damage to the joints because that's not going to be good for your longevity with your workout plan. It's also really important to remember to rest and rehydrate. Obviously, water, 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 water. You know, if you are around me, that's something that you've heard once or twice before. Um, make sure that you're resting between sets and that you're resting, you know, between workouts and making sure that you have off days. Try to have, you know, at least one or two light activity days a week so that your body has time to recover from the higher intensity things. Um, really come with a plan too. If you're going to work out and you're going to go to the gym, have an idea of what your goals are. Do you want to do 30 minutes of cardio? Do you want to, you know, make sure that you hit the muscle groups of the upper body? Have an idea in, in your mind before you step into the gym. Otherwise it's more like, what do I want to do? And you're just wasting time. And why do you want to be wasting time? You don't have any time to waste. You're too busy to work out. <laughs> so you got to make it work, right? Interval training is another really wonderful thing. It's better than solid cardio. So what I mean by that is, you know, you're running at like a, a you know, 2% incline on the treadmill and you're just kind of keeping at that pace for the whole 30 minutes. That's a really nice place to start. It gets your body in a conditioned way to kind of start the exercising process, but really to maximize the benefits of calorie burn and your cardio, you're gonna need to be adding intervals. So this means that you're adding short periods of higher intensity exercise in with more moderate intensity kind of um, rest periods in there. So you're having spikes in intensity and drops and that causes an increased challenge on your heart and that's harder on your muscles so you get a better calorie burn and you get more cardiac benefits. So if you're going to be doing 30 minutes of exercise or that's all you have, you may as well be doing intervals if you're trying to get the most out of that 30 minutes there. Um, once or twice a week, you can also add five to 10 minutes of exercise to your routine. So this is a way to kind of add an extra kind of intense day in without having to make it into a huge deal or kind of planning things out in that way. This light looks like really, I don't know what's up with the lighting here. <laughs> All right. Um, alternating activities is also really important as well. So you can't be doing the same exercise over and over and over again every day. Our bodies are really efficient. They become better at doing these activities and expending less energy. So what I mean by that is that if this um, particular exercise was having you burn 200 calories when you first started, after you've been doing it for a month, you're probably only burning 150, right? That sucks. So again, if you're really wanting to maximize your workout time, you're gonna be needing to alternate activities, alternating intensities, alternating all kinds of things. So you know, um, switching it up between resistance training and cardio training is going to be alternating. Switching it up between running and the elliptical and the bicycle is going to be, you know, climbing and hiking. Uh, having all these different activities going on together is really going to give you the maximum benefit because you're training all different muscle groups in all different ways um, at all different intensities. So all the different fibers, the short fibers, the long fibers, they're all getting maximum use. And so they're all getting strengthened and overall your um fitness profile will be much more strong. All right, alternating activities also keeps you motivated. I don't know about you, but if I have to keep like walking the same trail over and over again, it's gonna get pretty boring and then I start coming up with reasons why I don't have to. Um, 
Alternating activities is also going to prevent plateaus and help keep you at your weight loss goals and keeping things moving along. So if you're starting to hit roadblocks, think about alternating your activities because that's your body's way of saying, hey, this isn't, you know, enough anymore. Make sure that you're getting your sleep too. Muscle recovery, cellular repair, that happens while you're sleeping. And so if you're not getting a solid, you know, seven, eight, nine hours of rest every night, you're really not giving your body enough time to recover and recuperate. And so you're not going to be getting the most out of your workouts because your body just can't keep up with that piece. Um, and last but not least, it's super duper important to eat before you work out. Okay. Your body needs to have that glucose ready to go so that you can get your workout amped up so that you can get into the glycogen. So you can get into the fat burning zone. You need to have the ingredients your muscles need on board already in order for them to work at optimum. So, have that pre-workout protein shake. If you're, you know, a couple hours out, have a meal. Have some oatmeal and some fruit. If you're just an hour or two out, have a yogurt, okay? Have some fruit there as well. Um, have a protein bar. And if it's coming, cutting really close, have yourself a banana or something like that so that you're still having some level of sugar on board to kind of get the workout routine going so that your body doesn't think that you're starving because that kind of sets you up for not getting the maximum metabolic benefit from the exercises that you're doing. So hopefully you found this to be helpful. Please incorporate all these different ideas into your workout routine to get the most out of the time that you're putting in. Because if you're bothering to put in the time, then it means something to you. And if it means something to you, why not get the most out of it? Kind of a no brainer. So if you know someone who might need this advice, definitely tag them or share this video with them. Comment if you have any questions or concerns about anything that we talked about today. Make sure that you sign up for the newsletter on the left-hand side of the business Facebook page here. There's a newsletter sign up button. Just click on that, enter in your email information, and you'll get a, month, a weekly newsletter every Monday with a summary of the past week's 10 a.m. TV shows. So you can stay up to date without having to work for it because you have enough stuff to do. So have an awesome day. Take care of yourself and make sure you tune back in again tomorrow. 10 a.m. Tea with Natalie every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Have an awesome day and I will see you soon.